I have a friend who's a novelist, and in one of her novels, the main character has lost her mother, the father's remarried, and the new stepmother is trying to be a good mother to the young woman. And one evening they're playing chess. My friend told me that when she wrote this novel, she was a professor at a university, and when she, every time she wrote a novel, she would be invited around to the alumni clubs to read from her novel. And so she told this incident in the, to the clubs, the playing chess. The stepmother is trying to tell the young woman that if you really want to be happy in life, you have to decide that there's one thing you want more than anything else, and you're willing to sacrifice everything else for that one thing. And the young girl's kind of listening, half listening, half not listening. And she begins to notice that her stepmother's a really sloppy chess player. She's losing pieces all over the board. So she gets more and more aggressive. Then it turns out it was a trap. The stepmother checkmates her. And of course, the way the stepmother is playing chess is illustrating the points she's trying to make. If you want to win at chess, you have to be willing to lose some of your pieces. My friend told me that she read this to the different alumni clubs, and after the third club she realized she had to find another passage from the book. Nobody wanted to hear this message. We all want to win at chess and keep all our pieces. If you're to make a comparison with planting a garden, it's like when you'd have every kind of plant you liked in the garden, even though you like eucalyptus trees. And eucalyptus trees are going to kill other plants in the garden, but you go ahead and you plant the eucalyptus anyhow. You have to realize that there are some pleasures in life, some forms of happiness in life, that get in the way of others. You can't have every form of happiness that occurs to you. And you have to decide what's the most important. And you have to be willing to give up other things. We don't like to hear the word giving up or restraint or relinquishment. But the Buddha says it's a trade. You're trading up if you're wise. Most of us, though, trade down by holding on to things that are, are not any worth. We get in the way of really training the mind. So stop and take stock of your happiness, the different ways you look for pleasure in life. And which ones are getting in the way of which ones? As the Buddha said, a wise person sees that if there's a certain lesser happiness that gets in the way of a greater happiness, then you're willing to abandon the lesser happiness for the sake of the greater one. The British translator who translated that passage from the Dhammapada added a footnote one time, saying this couldn't possibly be the meaning of this passage. It's so obvious. Well, maybe obvious in the abstract, but in practice how many of us really live our lives that way? We don't have a clear ordering of our priorities, of what needs to be sacrificed for the sake of what. So stop and think. In fact, military has a slogan, be willing to sacrifice a part of your body for the sake of your life. And be willing to sacrifice, well, it just starts out saying, be willing to sacrifice your material goods for the sake of maintaining the health of your body, the wholeness of your body. Be willing to sacrifice part of the body for the sake of your life. And be willing to sacrifice your life for the sake of your honor. That's one set of values. What is your set of values? What would you put in that lineup? And what order would you put them in? It's only when there's some order to your desires that you really can be said to be mature. Otherwise, we're all a bunch of adolescents. So meditation is a good time to stop and think about these things, especially here at the monastery. You've got whole, whole days to meditate. Devote a little time to this thought. How would you order your sense of priorities? And then how would you stick to it? That's when you have a chance for being really happy.